Hello and welcome to another edition of The Naked Truth. My name is John Singletary. And my name is Ramon Rome. And today we're going to be, be talking about a movie called America Street that was done in Charleston, South Carolina. We'd like for you to subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you sign on to www.jfrinc.org and join. It's $36 a year for the organization. America Street. It's a movie that simply talks about or shows that African-American young men have an exceptionally hard time at being reacclimated re to society once they've been incarcerated. Mm. Used to work with a program called The Father to Father and oftentimes you would get young men who uh, have been incarcerated. Mm. Everything from finding a job uh, was extremely difficult. So mm. in most cases what we ended up doing was we had to help them uh, do a small business plan and show them how to start their own business because even small local businesses now do background checks not that you it's impossible to get a job mm -hmm. but oftentimes even if you make sure you be truthful which you always want to be on the application later on the person's out there working hard it's time to be promoted they do the background check later on versus when you first hired, mm -hmm. they find out you were incarcerated and now they want to fire you. Yeah. And so there's always this cloud that's hanging over your head and all too often we are not given the second opportunity. Now we already know that uh, from, the, from the onset it's difficult as a black young male um, in South Carolina I can say because I grew up here. A book it was written called um, Born Black in America excellent book you need to get that and read it as well as go and see the film America Street but again it just talks about and shows in the film how being reacclimated poses uh, unusual challenges that many African American males have to overcome and to my understanding even the characters in the uh, the movie have had some real life experience in playing the parts that they do mm -hmm. um, and so it's coming from the heart Right. Well, that's a serious um, issue um, in the black community to where in 2017 we will have 51% of prison population will be black. 51%. And we only make up 13% of the population. And needless to say, I don't even talk about the, um, the amount of abortions that we have that's also hurting our population. But the fact is, is that when they come out of prison, they need to eat. They need to eat, they need a place to stay, and so they need a job or a business. And, um, and many times, those opportunities are no longer available to them anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's the sad thing about it, because what happens is that they're gonna go back to a life of crime. And it's not, I'm not saying, I'm not giving an excuse, but it's just an explanation of saying, wait a minute, you mean to tell me you're not gonna hire me because I told you that I got out of prison and I need a job. And now I'm, I've restarted my life. I'm, I'm trying to the right track, right. doing mm -hmm. the right thing. And I have a skill, I have a viable skill that could benefit your business. But even right. with that skill, many times they just simply can't get past the fact that you've been incarcerated. First of all, you got to get past the fact that you black anyway in this country. Yeah. Your name is, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do name it. is mine. And I was say you know, not hey. Barack Obama. But anyway, um, but the seriousness of it is that look, the way the black economy is now is hard enough just without a criminal record. Sure. But when they have a criminal record, it's even you know that's just exponential. Sure. It's it's much harder. Yeah, it's much harder. Mm -hmm. So I mean, and and I would like to applaud the. Um, um, there, there is a move at allowing um, in certain states that you don't have to put down there that your criminal record. You don't have to put it down there. And I applaud that because I think that once you deserve your time, look, that should be it. Right. You shouldn't have to say, you know, that shouldn't have to be held because you are continuing to be a prisoner. Sure. That's why we, hats off, we, we applaud. Um, the producers, Karminsky and Pearson, 
mm. for attacking this issue and bringing to the forefront something that's all too often neglected and that it's never talked about. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a real part of our young men's lives who have been incarcerated, who are out and now trying to do something constructive with their life. It's almost like the system, uh, once they bury you, it's it. Once you step foot inside of the penal walls, it's a uh, stigmatism that's on top of you, um, and it's very difficult to, uh, to overcome. Is it some people do, yeah, like for instance, um, who's the judge who... Uh, judge, was, um, not judge, um, I think you're talking about, um, um, he does the, um, oh, I forget, I can't remember his name. Anyway, he has a show, but anyway, mm -hmm. um, so it, it can be done. Yeah, it can be done. But it takes extra hard work, it takes some people who are willing to give a second chance. Right. Right. Uh, Judge Mathis. Judge Mathis, as it is. Judge, Judge Mathis. Mathis. I'm glad because I was gonna be dying. I'm gonna die trying to remember that. Yeah, Judge, Judge Mathis. Mathis. And, and for all the guys out there who um, you are unfortunately in that situation, whether um, voluntarily or not that you are dealing with a situation where you've been in the penal system mm -hmm. and now you're out trying to do something constructive with your life, mm -hmm. we say hats off to you and we hope that um, everything works out for you. Yeah, yeah. Let's wrap it up. Yep. Anyway, this is, uh, we appreciate your time for watching this uh, video and um, we want you to subscribe right here um, to this uh, channel because your subscription helps us expand, helps us grow um, in this organization, as well as becoming a member of this organization. For $36, visit us at www.jfrinc. And this has been another edition of The, the Naked, Naked Truth. Truth.